Mary me, good peace to you and yours. I am Billy Joe, aka Shikoni, a solitary witch. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for viewing. I am so stoked uh, to have you here and to be able to share with you. Um, this is just a little preemptive. Uh, actually, I'm doing this the, the next day from the video that you're getting ready to see. I don't know where it's coming from. It'll be here somewhere. But um, I said at the beginning of the video that I was going to show or tell you, share with you um, my blessings and things. I, I do share a candle blessing. Um, as far as the blessings that I place upon the altar, those things that I, I'm... Uh, to me, I feel like my words or how I say my words really don't matter because when you work your own magic and when you do what is spiritual for you, um, your energy itself is what is infused in whatever it is that you are doing. So I realized that I really didn't need to tell you or to, to say what words I use because words, um, they come and go. Um, Basically, you want to prepare a space to do what you do, you know, and uh, my house and my home is surrounded by love and it's surrounded by fabulous energies. And that's why I am so glad to be able to share that with you. So without further ado, let's do it. Hi, Mary Mead. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Billy Joe, also known as Shikoni. Um, that is a name my grandfather used to call me when I was little. And that is how you can find me through the web. If you choose to look for me, that is. Anyway, um, I'm trying to, I'm going to do a little something different. I am going to um, prepare a space to welcome in a new item into our home. My husband uh, just recently come across a picture that is like a collage of his family. And the frame is plastic and old, not that there's anything wrong with it. Um, but I, we wanted to upgrade the frame. And I am a reduce, reuse, recycle kind of gal. So we went to Goodwill and found a picture frame. I'm going to bless the frame and swap out some stuff and prepare for the picture. And uh, if you're interested in that, uh, come along. This, uh, you have to pardon please pardon the sound of the washing machine. I may be a magical person, a spiritual being having a human experience. And part of that human experience is laundry. So you will be hearing the washing machine. I could have chose a better time, but the universe was telling me now is the moment. And uh, so let's do it. Okay, this is our altar, my altar. The center, the heart of our home. It is made out of white oak for protection purposes, um, for strength, and uh, that's that. So I'm going to be preparing this space. I'm going to remove everything, cleanse the top, and then I'll start putting the things out that I need. Okay. their water intake for the day. I drink at least two to three quarts of water. That is eight to 12 glasses. Mm. This is my coffee. I will share a link. I have shared this link before, but it is just an awesome, awesome mug. I either have coffee or tea in this, and it usually takes me several hours to drink it. Thank goodness for microwaves and the ability to drink cold coffee.
this is a cauldron. And as of right now, it has a tea light in it. This is my little wax burner. <clears throat> now, um, I light a, a blessing candle every morning. And that is just basically a white tea light can a candle. And um, in this space, the blessing that I say um, is just pretty, pretty simple. I make an air pentagram with my hand. And I say, thank you, Mother and Father, for the bountiful blessings that you give me and mine each and every day. And I light it and I send it off into the universe. Now I have different tea light candles in different positions in my house because I, my house is basically a giant altar. I do not confine magic to any particular space. And yeah, I did do finger quotes because as I've become older, I don't really consider myself um, any particular kind of way. You know, like I said earlier, I am a spiritual being having a human experience. So I basically create magic in my life to where every day I try to keep stress away and the things that I do are what I'm going to show you here. All right, back to cleaning the altar. I always set this on something anytime I have a tea light or a wax tartlet because you can do just that to move it. Now I love the wax burners because the little tartlets come in different colors. If you want to be all, well it has to be this color, it has to smell like that. I would say 90% of the time you can go to your local Walmart, Target, whatever place that you shop at and where they have the wax tartlets, you can uh, accommodate the smell. Or, or you can, hold on, you can do like I do and you can make your own. But that's a video for another day. All right, altar is basically cleared off. So, now basically, since this is wood, the only thing I put on the top of it is oil. And that's so the wood does not dry out and crack. And I just did that the other day. Okay, now, this right here is the painting, or the picture that my husband got. It's plastic, and the, the picture doesn't really go. So we wanted a bigger frame, so we found this one. So, I'm going to show you super fast how we did it. Alright, I took all of this one apart. And... Of course, it's not going to be easy. Pull the picture out. I've already secured and refastened all of those pictures. Basically, it's just changing a frame. Now, I previously popped off the back. Um, it has little staples in the corner. You can use a simple butter knife, go under the staple, push it back, 
such as so. And then you can get the picture out. Now, I was previously in this. I am going to do something with this for my Happy Planner. That's a different ball game altogether. Now, this. I need to take this strip off. So that's what I'm going to do now. This is what you do when you need a border and you need a bigger picture frame. You just follow down the line. You just pop it out. Well, I said just pop it out. clean that glass. I don't want to use anything wet. Well, here we go. Put these glasses off my face. I don't need them now. Being the inside of the frame. Less chance to get fingerprints and all that on top of it because it was closed up in the picture prior. All right, we set down our border. And then we set down our frame like so. And we'll take this and we'll set it right back in that spot. Now you might think that's kind of crazy, but it works for us. Okay, let me get some tape. Then you just take the cardboard and you put it back under.
underneath the little staples. Put in your toaster. Don't you hate it when you just lose your tools? staples are. Then you pop them back down again. picture with a border. Now I'm going to throw some oil around this frame. Blessed be and uh, I, uh, I'm pretty happy. I don't have to please everybody. I only have to please myself. And uh, it may not be perfect but it's perfect enough for me. Good peace to you and yours. If you like this Please give a thumbs up so I know that you do. Leave a comment below if you uh, want to say hey. And uh, I'll see you next time.